Phishing is a cybercrime. Criminals try to trick you. They want your personal information. This information is valuable. They can use it to steal your money. Imagine a fisherman. He uses bait to catch fish. Fishers are like that. They use tricks to catch you. They might send fake emails. They might create fake websites. These emails and websites look real. Don't be fooled. They are designed to steal your information. Your passwords, credit card numbers, and social security number are at risk. Fishers use many tricks to deceive unsuspecting individuals. They are constantly evolving their tactics to stay ahead of security measures and exploit human psychology. They prey on your trust, often creating a sense of familiarity and urgency to lower your defenses. One common tactic is pretending to be your bank. These emails look official and may even use the bank's logo and branding. Another trick is posing as a social media site. They might send you a message saying there's an issue with your account, they might even act like a government agency, claiming you owe taxes or need to verify your identity. One common trick is sending urgent messages. These messages create a sense of panic, making you more likely to act without thinking. They might say your account is compromised, urging you to click a link to secure it immediately. Another common trick is claiming you've won a prize. These messages are designed to excite you and make you act quickly. They want you to act quickly, without taking the time to verify the authenticity of the message. They don't want you to think. The more rushed you feel, the more likely you are to make a mistake. Another trick is using fake links. These links look real and might even have a URL similar to a legitimate site, but they take you to fake websites designed to steal your personal information. These websites are crafted to look authentic, tricking you into entering sensitive data like passwords and credit card numbers. Be careful what you click on. Always verify the source of the message and think twice before providing any personal information. Imagine this. You get an email. It looks important, maybe even urgent. The subject line catches your eye immediately. It looks like it's from your bank. The email has all the official logos and branding, making it look legitimate. It says there's a problem with your account. The message is alarming, suggesting that your account might be compromised. You need to click on a link to fix it. The link promises to take you to a secure page where you can resolve the issue. This is a phishing attack. Another example. Phishing emails are designed to trick you into giving away personal information. You get a text message. It seems to be from a reputable company, maybe even one you frequently shop with. It says you want a gift card. The message is enticing, offering you a reward for being a loyal customer. You just need to click on a link to claim it. The link looks harmless, but it's a trap. This is another phishing scam. Phishing can happen anywhere whether it's through email, text messages, or even social media. Be careful what you click on in emails. Always verify the sender's information and look for signs of phishing. Be cautious of links in text messages. Don't be a victim. Stay vigilant and protect your personal information. Section 4. Outsmart the Fisher's Tips for Protection. You can protect yourself from phishing. First, be suspicious. Always approach unsolicited emails and messages with caution. If something feels off, it probably is. Fishers often use urgent language to trick you into acting quickly without thinking. Don't trust emails or messages asking for personal information. Legitimate organizations will never ask for sensitive information like passwords or social security numbers via email. Always verify the source before sharing any personal details. Legitimate companies don't operate that way. They have secure methods for handling sensitive information. If in doubt, contact the company directly using a known, trusted method. Second, look at the sender's address carefully. Fishers often use email addresses that look similar to legitimate ones but have slight variations. Does it match the company it claims to be from? Check for subtle differences like extra characters or misspellings. Check for misspellings or strange characters. These are often signs of a phishing attempt. Fishers rely on you not noticing these small errors. Small details can reveal a phishing attempt. Look for inconsistencies in the email's design, grammar, and tone. Third, hover over links before you click. Check the actual URL. Fishers often disguise malicious links to look like they lead to legitimate websites. Does it match the website it's supposed to be? Look for subtle differences in the URL that could indicate a fake site. If it looks suspicious, don't click on it. Trust your instincts and always err on the side of caution. Staying vigilant is your best defense against phishing attacks. Section 5. Stay alert, stay safe. The final word. Phishing attacks are common, but you can avoid them. Be aware of the tricks. Follow the tips above. Protect yourself and your information. 
Remember, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Stay alert, stay safe. Don't take the bait.